what was it that made you decide to get involved with politics? Certainly. Uh, so my major was actually a Bachelor of Music degree uh, with a focus in voice, um, which I guess doesn't necessarily translate directly into politics. Um, but politics has always been something I've been interested in. Uh, I've been a community supporter since before I was old enough to vote, uh, volunteering, getting informed, that kind of thing. Uh, so initially when I made the decision to become a candidate, I was looking at uh, an election a year from now. Uh, obviously, with uh, the election being called early, it wasn't convenient. I couldn't, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't reschedule my exams to make allowances to be here. Uh, but I'm here now, and I'm ready to listen to what people here have to say. Okay. So you're not from the Lacrimish Saint Paul to Hills riding initially. Where is it you are from? I'm actually initially from Camrose, Alberta, which is where I've been attending uh, the August County University of Alberta. So um, Camrose is a rural community. realize out here there's a, a lot of resources and corporations, uh, that kind of thing that uh, people are interested in uh, how that's going to work. Um, so that's what I've been hearing out here. Um, I also have spent a lot of time out in this area camping as a child, uh, got family close to the area. So when the opportunity came up uh, that there wasn't a candidate available for this area, I was really, really excited to be able to run. Okay, so if you were to get elected in I'd be looking for a place in the riding to uh, to get a house or an apartment, whatever was available. Um, I'm really at an ideal point in my life right now. I'm now done all of my exams. My degree is finished, so I'm really open to whatever comes my way, and it's a really, really exciting opportunity for me. Okay. So for yourself and planning in this riding, what would you see as kind of the NDP and your priorities for Lack of Michigan Health? For sure. Well, the NDP obviously is focusing on healthcare, education, and creating jobs. We're looking at a progressive tax system where um, the 10% of people who earn a little bit more will pay a little bit more. We're only asking for what's fair. And what we've heard from that higher earning 10% uh, in a lot of places is that they're more than willing to give a little bit back to Alberta so that all of us can benefit. But again, we're getting more money towards healthcare infrastructure, education infrastructure, and transportation infrastructure, especially in these rural areas where it's very desperately needed. Okay, what would you say is, how, how would this really work in terms of ending the deficit and paying down the provincial debt? For sure. Well, obviously, with, uh, with the progressive tax, we're also looking at ending the tax breaks that corporations are currently receiving. Um, so they'll be paying a little bit more as well. Uh, which will also benefit them in the long run. They are using with the healthcare and transportation that they are also using. It's really an investment for them. And we're also looking at a review of the royalties uh, so that the people you know, who have profited from the natural resources that Alberta is rich with uh, will actually be able to give a little bit back to Albertans and look at balancing the balance of that budget by 2018. One of the major talking points that I just want to hear from the PCs in the election period is that raising the corporate tax rate and changing the way that corporations receive their uh, their tax cuts and that kind of thing would actually lead to that $9,000, 9,000 jobs being lost in the province. What does the NDP have to say about that? Certainly. Um, well, essentially with that, uh, what they're looking at is that the corporations will be less likely to work here and uh, create jobs here. But what we're already seeing is that they're not having royalty rates in essentially all of the world. So we would have to raise the royalties quite a bit before there was somewhere better that these corporations could go, and that's certainly not what we're looking at doing. We're only looking at raising the royalties to what is fair, because they have been profiting off of our land, our resources, essentially what we have to offer, and so we think it's only fair that we have for the big
say here. I really want to listen to the issues here and that is certainly something that I'm very aware of and that I really want to talk to people here about so that we can come up with a solution that benefits people here, uh, not necessarily from the city. I really want to focus on what you have to say. One of the plans that's been put forward by the Wild Rose during this election has been to change the funding formulas for schools and for health care so that the money follows the schools to um, having maybe like a top up for a rural community where there's a higher transportation costs, that kind of thing. What would the NDP So you're, you're talking about the restructuring that the PCs uh, have proposed? Well, there's the restructuring that the PCs have proposed, and then the Wild Rose has also proposed a restructuring of the restructuring. Right. <laughs> Essentially, what we're looking at right now is that that restructuring would cost uh, billions of dollars, essentially. It's another restructuring of a system uh, that's already in place. Uh, we really want to take the money that would be used for that restructuring and put it into the system that we have so that people all over the province can get the frontline care that they need, that they've needed for years. Uh, essentially, we're looking at improvements in infrastructure, improvement in long-term care, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, hiring more teachers so that the students coming into the system as well as the students who are already in the system can have the support that they need for a quality education, not just, you know, some standard education. Uh, we really want to make sure that everyone is looked after equally, uh, as well as really at this point we want to prioritize what the people need and uh, in the long run look at a restructuring of the system. St. Paul, the town of St. Paul has been looking at trying to become a leader in healthcare for our region. We've got the wellness center on the other side of town that was recently built. It's being the grand opening for it is in a couple of weeks, and they're trying to recruit some doctors to be able to come in and fill it up to have specialist care. My understanding is that they have to hire people to engage and they have to really advertise. on having more quality resources out here, uh, like the one that you are mentioning, um, so that that's not people's only lifeline, so they don't have the support they need at home. Uh, so I absolutely would be willing to look at doing things differently so that the people here could have the health care that they deserve. Well, I would just like to say that uh, obviously I am a younger candidate. Uh, I have experienced a lot in terms of the education system and the healthcare system, like I said, where I'm from the cameras. But I also want to say that the gives me enthusiasm and a fresh perspective to things. Uh, I'm really passionate about these issues and listening to what people have to say. And I'm also really prepared to make a difference that we're talking about making here. 